Hi everyone. In this video, I'm going to talk about .NET standard. But before watching this video, I strongly recommend you to watch my previous video on .NET architecture. In that video, I have covered different components of .NET and that also includes .NET standard. So if you haven't watched that video, I request you to pause this video and watch it. So let's get started. What is .NET standard? .NET standard is a formal specification of fundamental set of APIs which are implemented in the BCL. What does BCL mean here? BCL is nothing but the base class library which is implemented by the .NET runtime. As you know that we have different runtimes of .NET which means that .NET has different flavors. .NET Core, .NET Framework, Mono Xamarin, these all are different implementations of .NET. Each of these implementation has its own runtime and each of the runtime has a base class library or the BCL. The BCL, it contains APIs which are used in day-to-day -day programming. For example, as a day-to-day -day programmer, you have to make a database connection or a socket connection or do some kind of string manipulation. All those kinds of functionalities, it is implemented in the base class library of the .NET. So a .NET standard simply specifies what all APIs are implemented in a particular .NET runtime version. Remember, the .NET runtime version contains the base class library and the .NET standard is just specifying that the base class library of this particular .NET runtime supports these APIs, these list of APIs. That is what the .NET standard is. It is not a physical component that you install on your PC. It is an important point to understand. But why do we need .NET standard? What problem does it solve? Let's try to understand that. As a library developer, my aim is that once I have developed a library, I want other developers to use that library in as many platforms as possible. If I have developed a library on .NET Core, I would like developers to use that library also on .NET Framework and Xamarin and Mono. So .NET standard targets these library developers. Portability is the main reason that Microsoft brought .NET standard. Let's try to understand this with an example. Suppose I have developed a library mylib on .NET Core. This library makes a call to foo API, which is implemented in the base class library of the .NET Core. Once this library is developed, I would like developers on .NET Framework also to use it or a developer on the Mono or Xamarin platform to use this library. But how do I make sure that this library is going to work on those platforms, on those versions, on those implementations of .NET. If, I, if the developer is going to take this library and it makes a call to foo API, how do I ensure that foo API implementation is also present in the base class library of that particular platform? In this case, .NET Framework or Mono or Xamarin. That's where .NET standard comes into the picture. .NET standard makes sure that once you have created a library for a particular .NET standard, it is going to run on all the platforms which supports that particular version of the .NET standard. So in our example, before developing my lib, I will ensure that foo API is supported by which version of .NET standard. Let's say .NET standard x.0 supports foo API. So when while developing my lib, I will target .NET standard x.0. Once my library is developed, I have the complete guarantee that this library will work on all other versions and platforms of .NET which supports .NET standard x.0. I don't have to rewrite my library for different platforms. This is the main advantage of .NET standard. Once my library is developed, I, do, I can just take this library and offer this library to developers working on other platforms. The only thing that those developers have to ensure is that their platform supports standard x.0. There is no need to recreate my library 
for different platforms. So it brings portability. There are a few more points about .NET standard which you should know. Its new version of .NET standard, it is backward compatible with the previous version. For example, version 1.2, it will support all the APIs already supported by version 1.1 and 1.0. As a library developer, you will face the question of which .NET standard version you should target. To answer this question, first you have to make a decision that whether you want to use new APIs in your library or you want to make your library more portable. The general rule of thumb here is the higher the version, the more APIs are available because with every new .NET standard release, Microsoft is adding more and more APIs. The lower the version, the more platforms are supported. So if you want to target more platforms, you should probably pick a lower version of the .NET standard. I hope this video is useful for you. If you are able to understand .NET standard, please like, share and subscribe. Thanks for watching.